Hey everyone, this is Clanic Gamer here um, with more Let's Play Crash Bandicoot, and I'm on part two now, and I'm going to be moving on with boulders. Now, basically, boulders is well very easy. I mean, I think anyway. Basically, it's sort of like Indiana Jones in my opinion, like we are running the boulder. There's like different level types, and run! Oh my God! First part's easy. You just jump over two holes and that's it. The parts do get harder as they go along, though. And I don't know why the well, the mask well, Aku Aku won't give me any protection against the boulder. If that boulder hurts me, I'm dead. Simple as that. Now, if I don't get the gem here, if I somehow die in this level, then I'll get the gem an another another time. Ooh. That was a bit too close of a call right there. Right, this is the final part. See, I like the soundtrack for this game as well, especially for um, for boulders. It's like it picks up the intensity of the boulder chasing you, especially this part. Oh my god, am I gonna make it? I'm gonna make it? Yes, I made it. That was easy. And I got the gem as well. Yes, I did. Two gems. That was quick, and I'm only like nearly two minutes into this, and I already completed boulders, but um. Now, I'm going to move on to Upstream, and uh, as like, I've talked about Upstream, like it's music and stuff I want to cover, but um, you see, the thing is... There's so many pages to print out, though, and um, it's unbelievable. What have we got? And invincibility. Now, I need to be careful on this, because um, obviously if you fall into the water, you die. So... Now, it doesn't matter about the gem in this, because, again, this is something I need to come back to anyway, because there's another gem path. Now, those are like uh, Venus flight traps again. They just need to be quick, and um, don't stay on that one for too long, otherwise uh, it'll eat you. Now, there is another type of Venus flight trap in this level, and you'll see it, um, Assume when I make my way up there. There it is. Now this purple one will open and close its jaws like every few seconds, so you just need to time it. And there's a bonus round. Now I remember playing this last time without commentary and I died on this bonus round. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Just take my time. Just want to get every box out. Uh, they're not necessary for the level, I just want to collect every box that I can just to make sure for lives and stuff. Because I'll be needing them. Okay, but that's that bonus round complete. And, um. Uh, the, and the next, next level will actually be the first boss. You'll find out what that is. I mean, as, if you've watched my playthrough already, you'll already know what it is. But for those who haven't watched this, um, you'll find out what it is. But everyone should know this. But that was a bit closer. I think I nearly mucked up the time in there. But it doesn't matter because you need to get like an orange gem in order to continue on in the level. And there's three boxes on that path. Although, as you could probably see on one of the waterfall sections, there was another gem there. And the first boss is Papu Papu. Now, this boss is extremely easy, I think. It's because he's sleeping. And it's like, what? Who's there? Who's there? I demand to know who's there. Who is it? Oh, it's you. Now, Basically, when he's swinging his club around and stuff, I could just jump on his head anyway. 
hardest boss ever. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to continue on with this because it's only five minutes and I'll carry on to the next level, which is quite long, and it's Rolling Stones. The second uh, Jungle Rulers level, final one, actually. You die. Oh, and also, um, I'm going to be updating my blog as well um, about um, uh, music that I've practiced during the holidays and stuff, especially like um, Brahms' uh, second movement in the Sonata in F minor and the Poulonk's second movement in the Clarinet Sonata. Oh yeah, and those are um, Brio bonus tokens. If you collect three of those, there's another bonus round. But um, there's no save point in these bonus rounds. Basically, it's just, again, another excuse to, like for lives and stuff. Now again, I'll need to come back to this level because there's another colour gem I have to get. Oh, if I don't land on any of these TNTs. Because there is another Brio bonus token, there it is. Now there is a life in the middle of these crates. Can I get... <sighs> that was close. I thought I was going to miss that life there, but no, I was wrong. I got it. Uh, I'll just keep an eye on my commentary again. It seems to be fine. Um, but yeah, the, the two pieces that I'm going to be doing uh, for my solo first solo performance will be Bram's uh, second sonata, in a, like second movement in the sonata in F minor. And I'll link those down below for you for you to check out and listen. If you haven't heard it before. But as I go to another bonus round, Tonya bonus round once again. Now keep in mind these uh, bonus rounds for Tonya do get harder as they go along. Come on, get in there, thank you. Sometimes it's a bit of a tight squeeze to fit in these. Oh, screw it. That'll be fine. It's just a, a like, waste, was avoid uh, wasting time, like, by doing, like, bouncing in between the bouncy boxes. But yeah, um, if you haven't heard, um, uh, the Brahms Sonata in F minor and the Poulonk Clarinet Sonata, like the second movement Romanza. I'll link those down for you guys to, uh, like, to listen to. But if you have heard it before, then you'll know um, what I'm talking about when it comes to like, well, I mean, it's not hard. It's quite hard, to, it's quite simple to play, really, these uh, movements, but you just have to be careful of specific things. But um, here's the Brio bonus round. As you can tell, it's a different background or environment from Tonya's bonus rounds. And there's um, minecarts. And there's Brio himself, and he's a magician, watch. Boom, he disappears. But there's no save point. It's just basically a, a bonus round to get more, uh, more lives, and that's it. But anyway, I think I've got enough time to do one more level. Now, the hog level... Uh, yeah, I've spoiled it, but... Um, yeah, as you've, if you've watched my playthrough, the hog levels, I think, are quite fun, because the music is, is really good. But at the same time, they can be quite annoying as well, because of the controls. Now, this is the first of uh, another hog level that's yet to be found on the next island. So here we go, hopefully I can do this first try, and here we go! Jump over the hole, again, one more time, yeah, there we go! Now hopefully I can get all the boxes and don't hit those spiked things. Now basically, why we're riding on the hog is basically because we're fleeing the village. Now if I don't get the gem in this, I'll come back to it. Right, go all the way to the right. Jump on the bongo drum, just to get over the hole. Ah, never mind, I'll come back for later. That box is hard to get without 
bumping into that tribe guy. Again, I think that was another box I missed. Doesn't matter. I'll come back for it later, as I said. Because I need to collect gems uh, on the way back anyway. Again. <sighs> I didn't miss out on purpose, I swear. <laughs> as you can tell, there's a glitch. There's no platform for the finishing point. You missed one, two, three. Yeah, I know, I missed three boxes. But I'll come back for that gem. Anyway, I'm going to end the part off here. And, um... Uh... And next time, I'll see you guys when I do um, Native Fortress and start off the second island. Um, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed what you saw. Um, and su subscribe for more Crash Bandicoot videos. Comment below for your thoughts on uh, Hogwild and all the other levels that I've been doing. Um, but yeah, uh, this is Clannic Gamer signing off. I hope you enjoyed this part of Crash Bandicoot 1 and I'll see you next time. Till then, bye!